When dealing with a fractured humerus, please refer to your local protocols. Normally, when you come upon a patient that has a fractured humerus, they'll already have their arm in their position of comfort. You'll usually find them holding their arm. You just want to make sure that there's no break in the skin that's not a compound fracture and that's just a simple fracture. You're best off using a rigid splint with a soft side, rigid on one side, soft on the other. And when you're splinting a humerus, you want to be sure that you keep the patient in their position of comfort. You can use several different things to actually wrap around. In this case, I'm going to use triangular bandages. You want to make sure that the splint itself goes from the joint above the break to the joint below the break. This is always better with two people. But if you find yourself alone, you're going to have to make do. When applying the triangular bandage, you can do a simple overhand knot. I like to do it twice because when you pull, it stays in place. Then you can turn that into a square knot, just making sure it's on the rigid side. Place the next one above the break. And make another square knot. The patient can be transported in this position, but oftentimes it's easier if you actually make a sling and a swath for the patient. You can do that with some more triangular bandages. You're going to slip this underneath the patient's arm. and tie it in the position of comfort. You may need to pad this area. You'll have a little bit of triangular bandage left over on the end near the elbow. You can simply just tie it up like this. Another way to ensure that the arm is going to stay in place is by applying the swath. All you need to do is wrap it around the patient. And if this does not hurt the patient, you can actually cradle their hand with it. Make sure you tie the knot on the uninjured side. Okay, it's very important before and after you apply the splint that you check for a pulse motor and sensory. You can check a radial pulse. Can you feel me touching your fingers? I can. And can you move your fingers, please? 